Vets are important, man. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about Gorgie Dang. Not going to be a long video by any means. Not a ton to talk about right now, but uh, this is something I want to gloss over so gorgie dang showing that veteran leadership now before we get into that really quick if you guys want to support the channel clan the merch fan.com i say this all the time but if you go on the shop okay and you don't see your size you're like look i need like 5xl 4xl totally fine all you have to do is just email me um and i'll do custom orders now i'm gonna have to adjust the price obviously um, but yeah, all you have to do is just email me. So if there's something on the shop that you really like, or you have like a specific request, just hit me up, um, just ask and, and we'll see what we can do. But, uh, yeah, just letting you know, that's a, that's an option. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about this. Um, so Gorgie Jang 32 walking with Jeremy Sohan 19 to the bus after shoot around this morning at the chase center. Um, so this isn't really one I want to hundred percent focus on. I just want to focus on the fact that Gorgie Jane is the he he's the perfect veteran because I've said this over and over again and some people don't get this all right so let me try to explain it again I want two things I want the San Antonio Spurs to lose and I also want the San Antonio Spurs to play well and I think guys like Gorgie Jane really helps because you can have that veteran leadership but he's not necessarily making your team so much better like that's why I think the Spurs should go ahead and I think they will I still hold to this I think the Spurs should go ahead and try to move Doug McDermott to a championship caliber team maybe even Josh Richardson you could probably get quite a bit for them um now when it comes to Jakob I'm still kind of on the fence maybe leaning a little bit more towards uh trading just so you can get something really good um because I think that you can have two things in one you can have a team that is growing that is developing that is playing hard that is playing well together but at the same time you're still not going to necessarily be good enough to to win and I know some people will say well how do you want that like when you want them to win these games you don't want to be mediocre this season, especially with having a chance at Victor Wimbanyama. And I know some people will say, well, that's only a 14% chance to get it's better than a 0% chance. You do, you do not sit around and just say, well, since you have this, you know, odds of winning that you just shouldn't play. No, you need, you need to do it. You need to go after him, scoot, whatever you can do to get another star um, on this, on this team. Okay. Especially this season where we had to take some steps back. Um, also, I just wanted to bring this up. I know this is random, but if you go to Keldon Johnson's Instagram, this is a picture of <laughs> this is a picture of Jeremy Sohan. And then if you go to Jeremy Sohan's, it's a picture of Keldon Johnson. I, I just found that funny. Um, also, to uh, to add on to the fact that Jeremy Sohan is um, bonding with your boy Go Gorgie Jang, and I guess he's gonna do this every game day because as you guys know he did this kind of with Keldon where he was like hey it's game day Keldon he did the same thing with Gorgie but it was a little bit more respectful so let's see game day good ah isn't that cute hold on can I get out of it one more time game day good I guess he's just gonna do that every single time. Every single time there's a game day, he's gonna do that with whoever's around him at the moment. Um, but absolutely love Jeremy Sohan, love the direction that he's going. I think that he's really shown what a ninth overall pick looks like. So those of you who, and that's another thing. Can I say this? Okay, I'm a rant, like, like a quick second then I'm getting out of here, okay? The same people that say, and it's, it's not a lot of you guys, but I, I see this on Twitter all the time, okay? The same people that say, hey, you don't really have a shot at Gorgie J. Why are we worried about uh, going after lottery picks? You should just be worried about right now because this team could be become a championship. Team. You know, all this mess, and they're the same people that praise Devin Fassell and Jeremy Sohan, two of which were lottery picks. So I don't want to hear that, okay? You need a top five player, in my opinion, and I think that we'll be back on top. And do not use the whole, well, there's, there's Jokic and there's there's Giannis the fact of the matter is this okay if you get a top three pick let's say the Spurs get the number one pick overall and people say well well you can still find a Giannis later on if you were the first overall pick you could still get Giannis if you wanted to it doesn't matter like you you would have a hundred percent chance 
of getting a Giannis because you could just pick a Giannis. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You could take like a crazy swing. At least, at the very least, you have the number one, number two, number three overall pick. Okay, I, I just throwing that out there because some people say that and it really bothers me. It makes no sense to me. I think that you just need to increase your odds um, if you can. The 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 idea that you're gonna find a Jokic or a Giannis. Uh, uh deep in the draft it, it's just it doesn't happen they, they are a rarity okay and i believe Jokic is the very first second round pick to even win an mvp it, it's a rarity okay it it doesn't happen so don't bank on that but you can bank on having higher odds um high in the lottery but anyways um i don't, I don't even know how i got to that point look love this i think this is great i love having gorgie jang on the team and I think as uh, time goes on and as, you know, the season goes on, I think the Spurs will trade some guys and he's going to be even more valuable for us. Even us having Kenneth Fareed in Austin Spurs, I think that he could be a, a, a good leader as well. Um, and he also doesn't make you that much better at all. Uh, but anyways, I give it to you guys later, man. You want to support channel as always, uh, clanthemerchfan.com, link in the description, or become a Patreon YouTube member, only $2 a month. Until next time, bye.